I remember whenever we were going to go ding dong ditch and I fell in the pond. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember that. Dude, that I was, was funny. So I was, like, we were all running down the road, Connor. <laughs> and there's yeah. like this guardrail it's that like I missed. One in or the something. Morning. Yeah. I missed this guardrail and I just like <laughs> I started I was like we were running so fast I started skiing across this pond, dude. There was, how and many just, people was it? Like there's probably it was, at least six of us. It was me. It was me, Andrew, Dalton, Ben, the other kid named Andrew, and Jake. Yeah, six of us, Andrew. And Ben is the only one that has been somehow ran off the road and into <laughs> Connor. Connor. It had, like poured rain that day, so the like the level of this pond was higher than normal, <laughs> and we're all just running. Like we're it's like a comfortable. It's not even like a sprint. Just jogging. Dude. It's like a comfortable jog. Like, <laughs> <laughs> trying to get to this house <laughs> and it's we just hear a splash nobody said nothing for like two minutes <laughs> and then you just hear <laughs> 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 I remember being so scared I couldn't say anything so I was like help I was like help <laughs> on the metal slide on the playground and eat them at recess. <laughs> Paper is the, the least uh, crazy thing he's eaten. He was lactose intolerant. <laughs> Everyone knew he was. And every single day at lunch, we'd be like, just competing to see who could make the most vile, disgusting concoction out of our lunch ingredients, just so Adam could be the one to eat it or drink it through his nostrils or something. Oh. <laughs> and then for the next three class periods, everybody be like, where's Adam? Oh, he's in the bathroom still. <laughs> I still remember him drinking a whole thing of chocolate milk through his nose one time. Oh, that's so <laughs> nasty. Dude, used to be the Wild West. <laughs> Dude, I just remember Mr. Lee. Somebody gave him peanuts or something, and he goes, oh, I don't like peanuts. And he just throws them in the trash. <laughs> It was like it was like cookie or it was like brownies with peanuts in them, and he goes, "Oh, I don't like peanuts." And he just like takes it from the girl and he just tosses it in the trash right next to his desk. Bro. <laughs> Connor, have you ever heard the blue plate special? I was waiting on that. <laughs> I have never heard that. I don't know if Connor, I want you never heard the blue plate special. All right, you ready to hear the blue, the blue plate special? Plate, yeah. I feel All like right, I'm gonna nobody hear spoil it. Nobody spoil it. All right, all right. It's a joke that our math teacher used to tell, and it's hilarious. Okay. All right. You ready? Here we go. All right. <laughs> laughing. Just think about it. All right. So, all right. Y'all gotta, y'all gotta, y'all can't be dying laughing, bro. You can't be dying laughing, all right? Because he's gotta hear it. All right. So there's a trucker. Okay. He's been right. driving on the road for a very long time, and he's hungry, and he stops <laughs> at this little restaurant. Okay. Right. He stops at this little restaurant at the guys working at the restaurant. And he said, um, <clears throat> what do you have, sir? And he said, well, what do you have? And he said, well, we have the red plate special. <laughs> we have the green plate special. <laughs> and we have the blue plate special. <laughs> and, and my man, the truck driver, says, I'll have the blue plate special. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so lost. <laughs> okay, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. 
Hang on, hang on. Let me, let me, hang on, hang on. Let me take it. All right, Connor, let me tell you again. <laughs> All right, Connor, I'm gonna tell you again. Maybe, maybe you missed it, okay? I'm maybe, maybe you missed it. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I can't tell you. All right, so Connor. All right, so Connor. Connor. There's a truck driver, okay? He drives 18 wheelers for a living, okay? He gets a little hungry, so he pulls off on the side of the road and he finds this little restaurant. <laughs> and he goes to this diner. And he asks the owner of the diner, he says, what do you have? And he says, oh, we have the red plate special, we have the green plate special, and we have the blue plate special. And the truck driver says, I'll have the blue plate special. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, that's funny. I'm crying. <laughs> Dude, I'm actually gonna have to go take a shower. I'm, I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Connor, are you ready to be in on the joke? Yeah. I'm <laughs> <laughs> guys, we ha guys, we've got to get mad in here. We yeah. have to get mad. Oh. Okay, so Connor, <clears throat> the punchline. You're the punchline. <laughs> we just get the punch to you this whole time. <laughs> Connor, er, Connor, you're the punchline because there is no punchline. But the punchline is you trying to figure out the punchline and not getting it. And it is okay. so funny. Being oh, completely okay. confused. <laughs> yeah, you're like, I'm so confused. I'm so confused. Bro, I gotta get mad in here and tell that joke. <laughs> Dude, I actually like just started sweating. Yeah, so I'm dude, I'm about to change pants, my... dude. <laughs> There's an alligator in the fountain at one point. Yep. Oh, dude, Connor, did they ever tell you that story? The alligator in the fountain. Um, I don't think I've ever heard that one. Okay, so it was my cousin and one of his friends. They were going to the beach, and no, they were coming back from the beach, and they. Say, hey, there's a gator in the ditch. Stop here. And so they stopped thinking that my cousin was thinking like, hey, he's just going to look at it. No, Dylan literally goes in there, grabs the gator, hog ties it up, basically, goes in the back of the truck. And now they just have a gator in the back of their truck that's like thrashing around trying to get out. So they go back to the school. <laughs> Laura Bush, you know, the president's... Yeah, yeah the, the president's, president's wife, wife is there. President Bush's bunch, wife is there. She was Sorry. reading to a bunch of elementary students, so you, Secret Service was there, and... <laughs> of course, my cousin not thinking of this. And Dylan was in the back of the truck laying down next to the gator. And so they were hauling it through canvas because there's a little winding road that goes through there. Drives right beside the elementary where she's reading. Goes to the fountain. They cut the tape loose on the gator's mouth. <laughs> throw the gator in the fountain. Hop back in the truck. And then they're gone. Later, <laughs> later the principal comes to him. He's like, you don't know how close you were to being really, 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 really stupid. Apparently, rumor is that there are snipers like trained on them doing all this. <laughs> <laughs> was just watching them throw a gator into a fountain this whole time. Dude, I imagine somewhere in the world there's like a retired Secret Service guy. <laughs> Y'all remember that song? <laughs> <laughs> just telling his grandkids <laughs> like a funny story from when he worked. Yeah, one time we were just covering Miss Laura. These two rednecks pulled up. <laughs> Like there was a live a alligator thing. in the school family. It was a sunburnt red Chevy pickup truck <laughs> that had three doors, and <laughs> there was a guy laying in the back of the truck with a gator. <laughs> I can just imagine oh, like man. the radio comms <laughs> as they're driving <laughs> through the campus. Hey, uh, is everyone seeing this? Is that a live alligator? 
Um, there is a... Guys, y'all seeing this? <laughs> you see what I'm seeing? laying in the back with an alligator. <laughs> <laughs> Jared, tell them that story about the note. Oh, uh, alright, so Connor, so we had this kid. Alright. We had this kid. And he was, like Ben said, he gave off some strange vibes. Some school shooter vibes, you know? Yeah. He gave off some, some shooter vibes. Shooter vibes. And I used to always say, like, yo, if Blake ever tells me, don't come to school tomorrow. <laughs> I'm not coming, bro. I'm staying home. So I get to my locker one day, <laughs> right on the way to lunch, and there's a note in my locker, bro. There's a paper written note in my locker. Okay. okay. I open it up. It says, don't come to school tomorrow, Blake. <laughs> I flip my sh bro. I flip the heck out. Right, I fl I'm like, oh shoot, oh oh. I was, I asked my homeboy Trace. I was like, bro, Trace. I was like, do I, do I, do I take this to the office? Like, what, what what's going on? But I'm freaking out. All of a sudden, I feel this little tap on the back of my shoulder. It's Ben. <laughs> no hey man, hey man. I wrote the note. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> Ben almost got this kid arrested, man. man. Dude, I it's so funny how close Ben was to going to jail. <laughs> Literally, like five minutes away. Like, if I wasn't, if I didn't get out of out there to my locker at the same time or before Jared, I'd probably be in a lot of trouble. <laughs> yeah, which I didn't even put it in there. I Jake put it in there. Jake put it in the locker, so it wasn't even me. And if Jake would have put it in the wrong locker, oh my god, oh my god. that would have been even worse. <laughs> All right, so if, if if Jake put it in the wrong locker, and somebody else found that note and took it to the office, and that uh, Blake dude, dude Blake got in trouble, got would you would you have gone forward? <laughs> no, no, I would have never said it. Yeah, like you can. He like, would have been suspended. He would have been expelled and thrown into jail. <laughs> Yeah, he got people out. on bound for it. <laughs> Dude, I would not have said a word. <laughs> I almost didn't say anything because of the amount of people that Jared started getting surrounded with. <laughs> Man, I wonder how much crazier our stories would have been if we were there like 10 years earlier. <laughs> that would have been pretty rough. I, remember, I don't know why that reminded me. We were, <laughs> we were on one of the school buses on the way home from the basket. It was, I think it was either a no, it was a football game because Dylan wouldn't have been there. But he, uh, <laughs> he had to pee real bad, and they wouldn't stop. So he peed in a Gatorade bottle, and then <laughs> he threw it out the school bus window, and the wind caught it and pulled it behind the bus and hit the windshield of the car behind us. Oh it just, just burst everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> well, did you hear, did you hear the story of um? <laughs> Uh, uh, what's his name? CJ. C yeah, yeah, CJ. On the bucket. Yeah, on the bucket. <laughs> so, Connor, this man, he took a five gallon. So, he was trying to get the coach to like pull over so he could, you know, use the bathroom on the side of the road because like he had to go. Well, the coach didn't. So, he got a five gallon bucket. He found a newspaper. So, he put the five gallon oh, bucket. CJ crapping on the bus? Yeah, on top of the seat of the bus. So, and then he's just like, Full pants to the ankles, like gets a newspaper out. He's reading a newspaper. If anyone looks over at the bus, he is like butt <laughs> naked. And then, as soon as he breaks the seal of the bucket, the entire bus instantly <laughs> like straight diarrhea. Oh my God, it's a I'm the head baseball coach. Goes, that's crap, CJ. And he goes, yes, there sir, it is. <laughs> <laughs> That's the idea, sir. <laughs> Didn't he have the bucket on the seat? So he was yeah, sitting he the above the, the seat. seat. So like, anyone behind him was staring like straight into his crap. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my gosh, dude. So he's like three, four feet above everyone else, just <laughs> taking a crap in a five gallon bucket. That one over top, my boy. My boy, P. Rose, man. That boy. <laughs> All right. So we was in lunch. <laughs> I'm trying to picture this. 
We was in lunch, like sliding ice back and forth across the table or whatever, right? Yeah. Of all people to come over there and get onto us, Miss Dykes walks over there to get onto us. <laughs> no. Oh no, not Miss Dykes. Uh, Miss Dykes come over there and said something about if I see any more ice or whatever thrown, something, 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 something. I don't know. At this time, I look at my boy P Rose, who looks at Miss Dykes, and in in one hand. The hand not facing Miss Dykes. No, wait. Yeah, no, the hand facing Miss Dykes. <laughs> <laughs> In one hand, the one that is literally facing Miss Dykes. He's got his arm outstretched and a half eaten hoagie sandwich in it. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Dykes said something about next person that throws some stuff, yada, 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 something, 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 trouble. My boy Philip turns his head, looks her dead in the face, and throws a whole <laughs> hoagie sandwich over his head. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking lettuce, tomato, everything, bro. <laughs> it was just like throwing ice before. He's made a whole ham sandwich. <laughs> he, he was one of those kids for like, like, was always getting picked on because a lot of times he kind of did it to himself. Yeah, super like annoying. He's super weird. But like for for him to do something like that made it so much funnier. <laughs> it's like the quiet kid in class making a really good joke or something. The whole class yeah. erupts. <laughs> I went through a whole ham sandwich. It landed on Trace. That was the best part. <laughs> <laughs> oh my good, yo, tell Connor about uh, oh, what's that, Caleb? Do you remember oh, the, 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 the incident? The incident. <laughs> Did you ever read the Diary of a Wimpy Kid books, Connor? Yeah, yeah. I, if if Fregley was like actually <laughs> like a kid, he'd have been no. Fregley. I right, okay. Yeah. Right. So my boy, <laughs> we're in class, and you might remember this, you might not. I don't know, but years ago, they National Geographic came out. The docuseries literally just called the Bible, and it was like it was supposed to be a chronological description of the Bible from creation all the way to the end. Okay. Yeah. And they're in there in Bible class watching the Bible. Yeah. I, about eleven eleven thirty. It was my class. Yeah. About eleven eleven thirty. They call a uh, football team. Y'all need to go down to the bus barn and go get ready to uh, leave school, head out for your trip. So we. We get down there, we go to the bus bar, and I'm down there, we're grabbing our stuff, making sure we got our pads and our helmets, blah, 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 doing our thing. Somebody, we had a young man on the team by the name of uh, <clears throat> Zach, okay? Um, Zach was a cool kid, you know, no problem. Kind, kind of shy, kid, he's a kid. Ni nice kid. Yeah. Didn't everyone, really bother everyone, anybody. Everyone picked everybody on him, but everyone liked them. Yeah. I like Zach, all right? Somebody come down to the locker room. As we're all getting on the bus and goes, Yo, Caleb masturbated in class and threw it on Zach. What? <laughs> Y'all playing with me? Oh, no, he did. What? Zach, come here. What? <laughs> that boy nutted on you? <laughs> <laughs> and sure, darn enough, the kid masturbated in class and threw it on Zach. Yo. I was like, Zach. Why'd you not kill him, bro? I'd have picked up a desk and, like, yeah, throw it at him. Zach, what are you doing? Zach could have easily, and, with no effort, thrown this kid out the literally. window. <laughs> and so, for the rest of my time, but I, like, ever knew him, I'd, when I'd see him in the hallway, I'd be like, Oh, hey, Zach. <laughs> <laughs> I'd, act like was, I'd act like I was throwing, up, throwing it on him. Okay. <laughs> Dude, so, man, that PTSD. So, the story from inside the classroom was I was sitting there was like one person between me and him. He was in the front row. I was like same same row but like two seats back. Yeah. He set up a binder and everyone thought he was just like joking around about it because that was the kind of kid he was at the time. It, oh, that's what you did. Yeah, you were beaten off. Yeah. In Bible class. <laughs> yeah. And so it was like Jesus getting crucified on the screen, and the next thing we know, he's like slinging his hand towards Zach, and apparently that's what had happened. And then 
Zach, he wore the shirt for the rest of the day. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way, bro. No it, was all over, it was all over his shoulder and sleeve. That is bro. insane. <laughs> and then Zach's mom was the cafeteria lady at the time. And so Don went up to her. He's like, you were having a Zach. <laughs> <laughs> no. So then Don had to explain what had happened to her son in Bible class that day. And so she calls him over there. <laughs> Obviously, he's still wearing the shirt. <laughs> <laughs> that joke was crazy. That is awful. <laughs>other crazy shit that happened oh yeah i remember in uh, 11th grade i was in the freak or no i was in ninth grade but i was in the 11th grade history class with eric even though eric was in 10th grade <laughs> and i was in ninth grade we were both in the 11th grade Classes history class we were taking 11th grade history and me and eric were like in he's in 10th grade i'm in ninth grade but we're taking u.s history which is a freaking 11th grade class so we're chilling there and trace into that class being crazy as fuck and you know, Jared's in there, and Mr. Carter gives Trace a piece of chocolate for some reason. Trace is like, no, I don't want it, throws it back to him, he keeps on throwing it back to each other, and then all of a sudden, Mr. Carter turns to walk away, and Trace fucking launches that thing at him, like softball pitches it, beams him in the side of the head, <laughs> freaking his head turns the shade of, like, red we've never seen, and they're just staring at each other, everyone's quiet, and then freaking all you hear in the background, like, Jesse got a boner! <laughs> everyone just like, like you would be in the middle of a test and you just hear that. And I was just like, what is happening? I was like, I was new to the squad, like, is this just common? <laughs>